In June this year, these two undercover reporters penetrated the Baltic tobacco factory in Kaliningrad. They were pretending they wanted to buy a consignment of cigarettes. One of the journalists was a native Russian speaker. The other spoke English, which was translated as they went along. At the BTF factory, it was the sales manager who made them welcome. So, what would you like to so I got some prices from uh, the town for Jinling. And we want to do export to Romania, Germany. So, can you get containers? Do you have in, access? In Romania, yes. Не проблема, можем организовать экспорт. Мы работаем в больших объемах. Twenty containers we every month go from У каждого порта есть специфика принятия сигарет. Не каждый порт принимает сигареты. They will prepare everything for you to take them out. The rest is your problem. Okay. Every port has its own yeah, regulation on how to of accept cigarettes. Mm -hmm. The undercover reporters were shown onto the factory floor where they found the machines turning out millions of Jinling cigarettes in their distinctive yellow packets. The reporters made a return visit to the factory. Then they were able to meet the director himself, Vladimir Kazakov. He confirmed his willingness to supply the container. So we make the load here. Uh, do the custom clearance. Port. Send it to the port. Uh -huh. so so we are done. What they do is guarantee the quality and timely shipment. Uh -huh. The rest is up to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With like uh, one container and we'll see how... No, для начала один container. Нет проблем, для нас один контейнер делается 8 часов. 8 часов делается. It's, it's 8 hours of work. This undercover video, made by reporters from the Washington-based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, is the first concrete evidence that points to Kaliningrad as a source of smuggled cigarettes, which Western authorities say are now flooding into Europe.